It's time now for a look at in local news. And the news just of city commissioners met Tuesday evening, and once again, a major part of the meeting and discussion took place about the East Just of Sewer project, which is estimated to cost $22 million. City engineer Bill Schumann working closely with Thomas and Hutton, the engineering firm, preparing the plans for the major improvements for the city of East Jessup's lines, and they'll be accepting bids up until the end of April. We'll bring those bids back to the council during the month of May. Project partially paid for with funds from the American Rescue Plan Act. Those funds must be used by October 2026, or they could possibly lose those funds. Mayor and Commission on board with the project. They see it crucial to the future economic development for the entire county. Commissioners Pam Schumann and Tim Caulfield, however, stated Tuesday during the meeting they would like to sit down with the IDA board and the county council and all come together and make decisions on where the remaining funds are coming from to fund the project. Once again, this project, the main part of Tuesday's city council meeting, the rep from Thomson Hutton explained in detail the current and future needs for the new Wayne Commerce Center, the new industrial park, and the cost of the project, once again, $22 million. Still no official word from the state fire marshal's office on what caused that house fire in Garda, which claimed the life of David Andrew Jackson, who was trapped inside the residence. Sheriff Mosley still asking if anyone has information regarding the house fire to call the sheriff's department at 912-427-5970. Or if you want to remain anonymous, you can call 912-427-5993. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. In other news, this is an election year. The general primary nonpartisan election is set for Tuesday, May 21st. To check your registration status, change your name or address, find your polling place. They said you can visit the My Voter page at mvp.sos.ga.gov. If you're not registered to vote, you can complete an online voter registration form with a valid Georgia driver's license, or you can download and complete the voter registration form and return it to the registrar's office. Advanced voting is going to get underway on Monday, April 29th and go through Friday, May 17th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Election Registration Building at 306 East Pine Street. And this is a new building. This will be a new early voting location. There will be two mandatory Saturday voting days on May 4th and May 11th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you have any questions or concerns, they ask you to please contact the registrar's office at number 912-427-5950. The school board race in Wayne County is a nonpartisan race, so that race for District 5 seat between incumbent Tina Mosley and Tommy Weatherspoon will be decided in May. County Commission contested race is a partisan race, and Randy Franks qualified on the Republican ballot. Princess Dow qualified on the Democratic ballot, so that race will be decided this coming November. As both candidates will win their primary in May, as both are unopposed on their party ticket. Also to be decided in November will be the race for state representative between incumbent Buddy DeLoach, who qualified to run on the Republican ballot, his opponent, Rebecca Moore from Glenn County, running as a Democrat. All three sheriff candidates in Wayne County are on the Republican ballot. Incumbent Sheriff Chuck Mosley, Toby Cameron, and Donnie Gray all running on the Republican ballot. So unless there's a runoff, this race will be decided on May 21st. Once again, advanced voting Monday, April 29th, runs up until May 17th. And the early voting will take place at the new election and registration building. It's located at 306 East Pine Street. Once again, if you have any questions, they have to call the registrar's office at 912-427-5950. Second protest in front of the local DA's office is set for March the 27th from 11 to 3 p.m. Protesters have secured the approval from the city of Jessup. A group of women who claimed they had been sexually assaulted have organized the event. They state they're still waiting on the results of a GBI investigation, and they claim the DA refuses to accept phone calls or emails from the alleged victims. Several so of those planning the protest will be on Monday's Bitch and Bob show to discuss the protest and the reasons for the protest. Once again, the protest takes place in front of the DA's office on March 27th, which is next Wednesday. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news. Everyone's invited this Saturday to the annual WIFO WLP Unity Church of God Easter Fun Day. It gets underway Saturday at 11 a.m. on the grounds of Unity Church of God at 1580 Sunset Boulevard. All types of events, free food, inflatables, egg hunts, great prizes, games, a train ride, and a lot more. And everyone is invited to come join the fun for the entire family. Again, it's all taking place this Saturday, March 23rd, at the Unity Church of God on Sunset Boulevard. Chamber of Commerce is the date for their post-legislative luncheon. That date is Tuesday, April 23rd at Coastal Pines Technical College from 11 to 1. On the program will be featured speakers, State Senator Blake Tillery, State Representative Stephen Meeks, and Buddy DeLoach. And the public is invited. Tickets are $30 for chamber members, $40 for non-members, but everyone is invited to come get a recap of the legislative session from our local representatives in Atlanta at the Capitol. Again, the date, Tuesday, April 23rd, 
Need more information and tickets, call the chamber at 912-427-2028. The Wayne County Spring Fair is coming to Jessup at the J.C. Fairgrounds. The date's March 28th through the 30th, April 1st through the 6th, Monday through Thursday, 6 to 10, Friday and Saturday, 6 to 11. Admission's $15 per person. That includes rides. Again, children under 32 inches ride are admitted free, but no rides. And it's all taking place at the J.C. Fairgrounds. If you need more information, contact the Wayne County Board of Tourism Office at 912-427-3233. And the Tourism Board has two big events coming up. The 2024 Altamont River Run scheduled for April 13th and the second annual Jessup Porch Fest set for May 4th. River Run gets underway and offers paddlers two takeout points. An 11-mile takeout point will be Pig Farm Landing. 16-mile will be J.C. Landing. There is no charge for the event. But each participant must sign a participation waiver before the paddle begins. If you need more information on the paddle, it can be found on the Tourism Board website at waynetourism.com. The Jessup Porch Fest is a music festival held on the porches and lawns of historic homes and churches in the Old Town neighborhood of Jessup, ordered by Brunswick Bay, Wayne, and Plum Streets, set for May 4th from 1 to 5 p.m. Musicians and entertainers will be performing, allowing visitors to enjoy music from different venues, traveling by a golf cart, bicycles, or on food or on foot between the different sites. Anyone interested in performing or hosting the event should contact Heather Altman at the Wayne County Board of Tourism at number 912-427-3233, or they can stop by the Jessup Train Depot in the two events, the Ultima River Run April 13th and the Jessup Porch Fest May the 4th. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, send a great day. <laughs> 